tell you what my pet hate in life is. Banks. I really do. I loathe banks. I loathe banks as they stand now. When I was a young man, <clears throat> you'd never borrow money. You might borrow a few quid from a few friends, go and have a drink, go to cinema or something like that. But you'd never dream of going into the bank and saying, could I borrow some money? They say, what collateral do you have? They say, I don't have any. They say, piss off. <laughs> now, in the 80s, that all changed, didn't it? A few years ago, come on in. Come on in, do you want to borrow money? I mean, you've just been walking by the bloody place. <laughs> Do you want to borrow some money? What? Do you want to borrow some money? No, thank you. No, thank you? Why not? What's wrong with you? Are you a lunatic? Well, I'm unemployed. That doesn't make any difference. Have some money. Come on, here, have some. What do you want? What do you want? Buy some. Have a, have a house. Buy a house. Go on, but just, just buy a house. Do you want a house? Oh, I haven't thought about it. Well, here, have it. There, have a house. Come on. Do you want a car? You don't want to walk around like everybody else. Here, have a car. And they just poured it on you. Now that's all changed. The images of the banks, which were at one time, the caring bank. We are the caring bank. We are the listening bank. We are the friendly bank. We are the open bank. We are the bank that likes to say, yes, bank. <laughs> now it's changed totally. Now it's, are you out of your mind, bank? Piss off, bank. <laughs> you asshole bank. We don't give a shit bank. We're told that the economy of the high street depends on us, the people, spending our money. Now to help the economy of the country, the banks arrange credit for us by letting us have credit cards. And we, to help the economy, take these credit cards and spend money that we don't have. And these bastards charge us for that. <laughs> and we're grateful. <laughs> Do you ever try to get in to see your bank manager? It's like getting into God. I'd like to see the bank manager. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, I, I would. And you, you talk like a sycophantic idiot. Oh, yeah, I'm, I, know, I know he's very busy. I know. I, 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 know I know he's extremely busy busy and involved in financial matters, but I would be, I would be very grateful, please. <laughs> and the same thing to you, is your fly open? You say, no, no, uh, should it be? <laughs> and he get in to see this bastard. And he's sitting there, like, some omnipotent, and have you ever seen him? They always... They always put their fingers together, and they always have their glasses down like this, and they all go, mm, 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 mm. I can do the mm, and the but I can't do that. My fingers won't do it. Come in, come in. Oh, yes, thank you. Thank you very much indeed. It's very kind of you. I know that. Uh, would you, uh, would you uh, take a seat? Oh, yes, yes, I will, please. Uh, uh, could I kiss your arse first? <laughs> Banks open at 9.30 in the morning. Right? And at 9.30 in the morning, there'll be six to eight or ten tellers all sitting there doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> because most of us, the public, do our banking between 12.30 and 2 o'clock. We turn up at 12.30, six of these bastards will piss off for the lunch. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but when I have a choice of two cues, I cannot pick the right one. <laughs> There's two queues there, there'll be nine people in one queue, five people in the other queue, and I will not know which one to go for. And I'll be saying to myself, which queue should I go for? And the sensible me will be saying, don't be silly, David. Don't be silly. Go for the five. Five is less than nine. It's got to move quicker. So I go for the five. And the nine drops to six, four or three or something. And it's six against three, so I run over to the three. <laughs> And the five goes to two. And I run back again. And by the time I get back then, three more other people have joined that little queue. And I'm going, where the hell, where did you come from, you bastard? What the hell you did here? I spent a whole day in the bank darting from one queue to another. And when I get to the top, they say, we're closed. 
It's an extraordinary thing to be in a queue and watch it going down. And you're like, come on, come on, come on. It's a three. Three against two. Three against two. Ha, 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 ha. Three against two. Good, 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 good. Two against two. Two against two. Good. We're catching up here. Two against two. Two against two. Right. Ha, ha, ha. Two against one. Two against one. Oh, shit. Two against one. Two against one. Two against one against one. One. And I am always behind the one person who is banking for the third world. <laughs> I want to tear them, I want to tear the pubic hairs off. <laughs> you never get in a rage like that, I want, I'm standing behind, oh, how did I get behind you, you asshole? Oh. Tear all these pubic hairs out, knit a scarf and strangle the bastard. <laughs>